Right, let's take a look at who's playing what. We got Matuma Man, he's playing his Necrophos. Just like the first game of the tournament he played, we got Miracle on the first... First Huskar of the tournament. Three days in, so many heroes picked already. Kuroki's playing the Oracle, he's already in deep with the smoke to place that nice ward. Mind Control will play his Nature's Prophet. And GH, once again, on his Earth Shaker. Uh, no real surprise there. We got a five-man smoke coming out from TNC. Smoke, go around, kill them all. We're gonna walk up the high Matuma ground. Man is so... Oh, so dead. Do. Looking for that burrow shike. They're gonna go for this. Range, but he's, he's got fast. boots. Yep, we got it. Is there backup? There's a lift, the golden lift even. Matuma Man, he's trying to stay alive, but nah, there's no way. What are you possibly? <laughs> I mean, he's a... trying to stay alive. You, you, got, you know, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt that he was trying to stay no, alive. No, no, no. It's more like I, I'm looking at um, I'm looking at Kuroki and he's thinking about something. He's like, do I? Because he hasn't skilled anything yet. So he's just like, what do I skill here to make this make this somewhat okay? And there's absolutely nothing that you can oh. do about it. Oh. Alright, so Tim's is on the Earth Shaker, and uh, we got uh, Earth Spear Earth Sand King. Wow. Also an uh Bitva Earth Hero, whatever. One for three seven on his room, Sam H on his clockwork. We got Cuckoo playing the Tinker, who's uh, being delayed on his venture to the mid lane after taking the rune. And then uh, on the bottom lane we got ourselves an Ember. Played by Raven. And the runes. I think the runes were still evenly split. Yeah, yeah. they were. Mind Control got one, Matoma Man got one. Okay. This bottom lane, though, I am imagining this is very Nature's Prophet favorite. Because you can just right click with, uh, with the trees and. Yeah. So as a result, they're going to go for an aggro tri lane, but. Because this is the one thing that you can do against Huskar, right? You can aggro tri lane him, he can't really do too much. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of defensive abilities, and can they're immediately going to go on him, and yeah. he's got nothing, Sheeps. He's got nothing, that battery sold. Wow. Uh, oh. This is how you do it, I guess. Yeah, shut him down early. So he never gets uh, his feet on the ground, really. Kuroki getting a burst truck as well. There is another lift available in a couple of seconds. And that should be a third kill on the side wow, of that TNC. Is fast. There you go, got him. It happens just like that. It happens just like that. In the meantime, Matuma Man is har harassing Kuku quite a bit here on his Tinker. He had the advantage just because the Earthshaker showed up and fissured a few times yep. in the wave. But the one saving grace for Liquid right now is his bottom lane. Uh, we talked about how I'm pretty certain, as your expert analysis, <laughs> that this main... I've never played this lane matchup. So I don't I don't run into a lot of Nature's Prophets lately anyways. I mean, it is a very un unregular matchup. Because normally we see it wait a Ember second. Mid. Eight a second. Huskar again. Miracle stuck oh, and boy. dead. Okay, so are we gonna see a lane swap? Because this is not good, or is this still good because of that bottom lane? Like, I think, I when think do it's you time to, to I think it's time to swap lanes. But the problem is if you swap lanes, they'll just follow you back. Yeah, but at least you got the move. That's true. And man, this and the beginning like, of this is rough. Look at bottom two. Yeah, Raven is uh, is actually he might actually die. There is a burrow strike available from Tim's. Actually, there's not. He doesn't even have, he doesn't have the mana for that. But yeah. it does force mind control away, and that's enough for the moment. This is good Raven though. Lived. He forced he forced heroes around, which is really important because they couldn't deal with that three on two up at top. And Tim's coming down here without any mana. Think about it, he's gonna have to re-heal, both of these guys have to heal, and he can't TP anymore, he has to run all the way back, so... Miracle's gonna find a little bit more footing up at top, because he can deal with just the solo clockwork. Yeah, because 1 for 3, 7 also just rotated down, also no mana on that top lane for him at the moment, uh, bottom lane. Regeneration. For the, the rough part though is that Miracle had to walk all the way there, he oh. didn't have a TP himself. They're gonna try and kill him! Courier dies as well, but we're gonna follow Cuckoo's death here. I think his death is uh, quite certain, especially with Minecraft teleporting in. Uh, he does take a lot of beating from this tower, but he'll be okay. He sniped the courier as well. That's why he was behind him. Yeah. So that makes sense. And he's gonna shove in the wave. If you're this necro, you wanna make sure that Tinkers get Tinker gets as little of this as possible. So you just shove in the wave. Gonna deal some damage to the tower because we talked about how important that mid uh, tower is Shiver. Yeah. And more importantly, like when you're a mid player, you want to chip it down whenever you can. That's why you'll see like people just take hits on it, you know. Mm -hmm. This uh, clockwork is having a rough time without his supports here. Yeah. He's not able to do much, but Tim's is back, and a one four three seven is on his way back as well. That's uh, what I mean. That the bottom TP really kind of makes the game a little bit wonkier for them. It's less straightforward. Yeah. 
And it also means that the, the Ember Spirit is back to having the shitty matchup for him with the Age of Prophet. But it, it's a weird situation because no matter what, you know that somebody's game is going to get sacrificed. At least for uh, Raven at this bottom lane, he can get XP. Like, he can just soak, soak up XP and he shouldn't be able to die to mind control. Oh, Miracle has his eyes on the side of King. But again, we're in a, they're in a weird position where because they weren't up here as three and they didn't have full strength, somebody gets low and this lane is not as won as it once was. And now you've got GH up here too. Maybe if you don't, maybe if Tim's doesn't force that TP bottom, this game is completely different. Yeah. It's like that game we saw, remember when Matama Man was Ursa and you just TP'd yes. uh, to top and then he was forced into a weird situation. That's kind of this moment in the game is they're going to ping him out, they want to go on him, Sam H is going to pop that. In a bit of a pickle here, but alive for the moment. And oh, Tim's no. is about to die first. Mind Control coming in to help out, seeing if he can get something more. He has his Sprout available, but he doesn't have the range, and that means that 1437 should be fine. And he does get the Sprout up to see if there's still someone stuck in the trees, but uh, it is Sam H. And even the scan that they used, it's not in the right place. He's still looking for him though. Sam H, can he stay alive? I don't think so. He gets scouted out. He does do a lot of damage to Miracle. He has to be careful here, but uh, yeah, there's no way. He's on fire. Oh, nope. that was. Nah. I had a fairy fire. He tried. Yeah, yeah, he was never in trouble. Fine. However, Raven is actually okay too. Yeah, Raven gets a little bit more space on the map. He's level five. He's doing okay for himself, but that these TPs just kind of make the game really awkward. And now you've got a Nature's Prophet who's really strong. There, there was like this window of time. Uh, where they could have abused that top lane a little bit more, yeah. but because of that TP, then they have to run down, and he has to run back to base, uh, then he has to run up, half his team isn't ready, like it's just such an awkward position to be in his end mid, they're gonna go for it, but Matama Man pops his Ghost Shroud, shouldn't go down to this, and he's in fact they're gonna turn it around. Yeah, that means that Tim's, he's running for his life, one more hit will do it, but he is staying alive for the moment, the aura though is taking him down, slowly but steadily, burst strike up to the high ground, and oh, no. oh he lives! They should have. Oh, he gets caught. With the Fisher. GH just throws it out. Even finds a regen like this. Uh, lucky this is getting so rough now for TNC. This Nature's Prophet is playing too fast around the map for them to deal with. I mean, kills early on in the game generally mean less than kills later on because they just get a lesser advantage. And at this point, Liquid, they managed to even out the score. They are still having with Tuberman with a bit of trouble, but GH comes in as well, so he's trying to help out. Lives back to the other side of the Fisher, and that still secures the kill for Tim's. In comes Kuroki, he's here to help out, making sure that he kills up 1437. GH looking for another go. He has a Fisher in two seconds, but. Uh, hey, top lane. That was a solo kill. He was full HP too. That is. Okay, that's that's not on us. That's such an unexpected kill. Yeah, I, that was just a solo clockwork against a Huskar. He had full everything too. He didn't have to use the hookshot either. So just a weird set of circumstances in yeah. general. Bit of a misplay, perhaps. I mean, the clockwork is out leveling the Huskar a bit. A bit. <laughs> By like a. Well, after that kill, it was an extra level. Obviously. Yeah. But before that, it was one level. Still. Liquid doing okay around the map. Yeah. The the best part is that the Nature's Prophet has had such a sick game, as well as uh oh he's gonna oh, hunt for the courier at bottom. Courier you, is wait what? Boy, that was a bit of a misplay. Someone somebody somebody messed up. Someone's getting fired for that. Yep. Ooh, we have a rotation rotation up top. Tim's is here together with one four three seven. Once again. Down Miracle again. Burst like to set things off. Stuck in the cons. Miracle tries to do it again. Okay, they're no they're riding the ship a little bit. Although at bottom, if they don't lose the courier there, that somebody was somebody was fiddling with it, I think. I and think so too. Someone was microing it away. And... Yeah. yeah that does, that does. If they just send it down, it, it oh, survives. Gh gets caught, but manages to stun three and lays down a fissure. Yeah. And Tim's is in trouble here as Matama Man's chasing him. This should be a clean ultimate. There's a first strike and a TP available, but oh, yeah, never mind that. He doesn't get him in the uh Oh my the control, he might actually die. Wow, oh. there we go, Raven. Alright, Raven has completely reset his game now. And that's the crazy part is when you're that far ahead of one laner and you die solo like that, the gold advantage just completely swings. Like he 
despite just being a punching bag for <laughs> the majority yeah. of this lane, is now he's for half a second he jumped in front of uh, mind control in terms of net worth. So how do we how do we rate this game? Because it started out with TNC doing really well, and then we had them, you know, on the back foot a bit with Liquid coming back, and now it seems like TNC is, is doing okay again. Are we are we even? Are we are we square? Uh, I don't think we're quite even yet, but TNC, uh, they're making the most of it right now. They're having good individual plays more than anything. I would say that one bottom uh, TP by Tim's made their game awkward, but they've done enough and up at top. Oh, Tinker, he gets actually blocked in by the Treans. There was no way out there. He was uh, not able to get out. He teleports out. Yeah. Sam H wastes the hook shot up at top, unable to do anything about it. It's, uh, Kuro just fades Edix himself, and what are you going to do about that? Oh, teleporting my mom for 37. He teleports into his crowd. He teleports in to die. Gets the lift off, but it doesn't do anything whatsoever. Tibbs, you better be careful here. You got a bit of backup there. You got Sam H stuck there as well. He's stuck. And He's just going to get right clicked. Oh, those triads. He's not Probably able to shouldn't have blocked. cost that. Yeah. And Tibbs walks forward because. Question mark? Raven comes in to try and help his team, but his team is already dead by the time he arrives, so he's in a tricky position. He can still get himself to the high ground, and that will be enough. Hey! Samage, can he make this a double kill? He's already got one down. Mind Control is taking a lot of damage as well, though there's no flare available, unfortunately, for him, but that looked like it, it almost looked like he could get a double, maybe even a triple kill. It's a uh, bit more lucky. Battery is sold. So just a sloppy fight overall is Miracle. Now has the armlet up at top. Tim's is going to go into a little bit of fight with him as Raven commits. Looks like they still want to go for this. There is an armlet available, but here comes the laser. <laughs> Tim takes a lot of damage, but he's, uh, he can't just walk back. A lot of skirmishes across this map. As uh, Sam H still dies, he was uh, still. Uh, I'm not sure what he was doing there. He's just taking a little bit of strength. There's just. Battles happening all around the map. Like, this is a very, this is a very good game of Dota overall. Both teams, there's some minor errors here and there, but the overall skill is pretty good. I'd say there's only been like two mess ups. Says up at top, Miracle gonna go for it. Ulti costs him nearly nothing, especially with that armlet. So who is, who are these skirmishes uh, favoring? Like, is there one team that is, is more happy with all these fights around the map? Because we know that that Tinker is is there to delay the game, right? Mm -hmm. So you would imagine that they that generally TNC wants to play it safe, not as many skirmishes. I would say Liquid is probably a little bit more satisfied with how the early game's gone, and Sam H at bottom gonna get treated. in. But yeah. Man does veil him up too. He has that ulti, wants to try to use it, but. He's running for it, but they just drop it and he's gonna... The seeds of fortune. Центральная 
Центральную башню сил тьмы атакуют. Нижнюю башню сил тьмы атакуют. Верхнюю башню сил света атакуют. Силы света укрепили свои сооружения. Нижнюю башню сил тьмы атакуют. You're, you know, you're fighting all the time, but at some point there's going to be a tipping point. And I'm expecting that that was the tipping point. And then from now on, from here on out, Liquid's going to be the one, you know, directing the tempo of the game. And, and that favors them because they have a lineup that has its peak, like, right now, between now and... And what is it, like, 30 minutes? Shiver, I don't think they saw it. They saw what? I don't think they saw the Rampage. Oh, sh... I'm not cursed. Okay, they definitely didn't. I'm. <laughs> I'm looking. You guys, at... you gotta go into Dota TV. You need to rewatch. <laughs> I that. need to rewatch <laughs> that because Matulman got a casual rampage in a fight that lasted pretty long. Let's no, let's undersell it. Let's undersell it. Right. It wasn't that good. All right, no, he just got a couple of kills, but you still need to watch it. Not really though. Nah, but, <laughs> but well, you don't need to understand it too much. Oh, Reaper side, Rubik. Oh, he's gonna go four. down. Cuckoo needs uh, to get out of here. Yeah, this he's trying. Oh. Engagement. Uh, I'm not sure about that hook what shot was. He's trying to hook shot his own teammate from the looks of it. Sam H. Uh, you're not gonna do anything there, buddy. Miracle is taking a lot of damage, but he has got the arm on his Oh, Kuku needs Kuku to get out of here. Back. He came back! No! So that's not where you wanna be. Double kill for Miracle. Three devils have TNC and Team Liquid taking tower to boot. More map control for them. They already had tier ones. That's one thing, actually. Most of these fights, most of these skirmishes have happened on the side of TNC and that meant that every time Liquid got close to a tower they were able to do some damage to it they only just lost their own tower a bit just now but they already got three towers inside of TNC yeah. I will say that if, if you're just looking at the game it looks really close 17 and 15 but if you notice every single time Liquid gets a set of kills they do something with it yeah. whereas TNC I would say if there's one knock on them as a team in terms of drafting, it's that they very rarely draft tower hitters. They're going to draft killers more than anything. And normally when you draft tower hitters, you usually lack something on your lineup, like team fight or disable or something like that. And right now in this position, if you look at TNC's lineup, who's going to really hit towers? So when you're looking at TNC's lineup, one of two things must happen here. It's either A, they're going to get tons of kills around the map nonstop, or they're gonna go ultra, ultra, ultra late game where everyone is six slotted and they just wipe you consecutively and then there's no Every one left. Every time! Mind Control gets the Sprout off and then gets the Trios off and then there's just. Tim's is just stuck, he can't get out! Well, Mind Control is the one who can't get out this time. Tim's actually ended up surviving, but barely. He gets the Sprout off and he gets like the perfect block. How does that happen every time? Is it something that he does, or is it something that people decide inside the scrub? Everyone does it now. Everyone does it now? Yeah, you just click the center. Yeah, you just click the center. Oh, all right. 
It's the center of the cookie. So Team Liquid is ahead, but we already knew that this was a time where they were probably going to be ahead, right? And this is something that TNC knows as well. Yeah, and they're they're battling back. There was a 5k advantage at one point. All of a sudden, that lead... 2k? Yeah, very much minimized. At the same time, TNC, they're not going to get a lot of tower gold this game. Like, the fact that they were able to take this mid tower was incredibly fortuitous. I was really surprised that that had happened, because I feel like Liquid... Uh, they're getting dragged into this, like, really weird game where they don't want to be dragged into. But at the same time, it's not even working out that badly for them because GH just got a Blink Dagger already. Like, he had his Blink Dagger four minutes ago or something stupid like that. Yeah. And uh, Miracle also has an armlet, so he can actually fight. Like, he, I mean, he had that for a while as well, so he could fight early on as well. He's got the Sanj now as well. Yeah. It's very good of Raven, by the way. He has boosted travel, and then he had 2,500 gold, and he's like, what do I build against this Nature's Prophet who's already almost got Orchid? Yeah. You simply get a Yule Scepter. So by the time he gets his Orchid, he's already kind of hard countered in that sense. Still handy against the uh, Tinker though, the, uh, the Yules. Tinker's got his Blink, he's got his boots to travel. Almost a Radiance, by the way, in Matumba Man. He's very farmed. He said he quite a good game. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. He just popped we, up with the items. Yeah, I mean, I disconnect for a second and all of a sudden there's this fat necrophobe on the map. That's crazy. That is crazy. Nah, no, he's, uh, he's having a good time. Someone who might not be having a good time for a very uh, long time, long, much longer. Uh, might just be... No, he's okay. And they actually kill Mind Control consecutively. Aww. He goes down again and that 5k lead with two deaths on Nature's Prophet and that tower. Like, he was so far ahead, this Nature's Prophet, and if you look at his net worth now, you can't afford to die on course, which sounds silly, but it's even more important when you're ahead like this. You can't get solo picked off, that's why you see the rest of Liquid, they're playing this five-man game, and it's meant for mind control because of his global TP to just go around the map pushing out the lanes that aren't pushed out, but he's dying for it. And meanwhile, they can just defend with Cuckoo at bottom. You can't really, uh, you can't really do too much about this. They were they were trying, but they scanned it a little bit too late when it wasn't there, and then they were just uh, I could do it just a little bit too uh, quick for them. And now GH also started to defend mid lane again because in the meantime TNC is making sure that all the lanes are pushed up. Look at this at bottom though. You can't like this if you're Liquid because they're sharing one lane of XP for yeah. four people. Yep. This tower is eventually gonna fall, but I'm not sure oh, if that's necessarily mind worth control it. Again, hook shot in as well. Stuck in the cogs, can't sprout himself out this time, and easy kicks for TNC. Yeah, Matama Man gonna come in. Cuckoo, he's gonna get caught. This is oh. a very big kill. Yep, Reaper Scythe to finish him off. Kuroki lives, and they are chasing. Uh, they're chasing down. They're chasing down at Savage. He already got stunned. He gets jumped as well. Cogs don't matter. Godlike Matama Man. Whee! Well, they might not have liked hanging around uh, bottom with the four of them, but they definitely like that one. Yeah, and especially if Cuckoo doesn't die right there, that... <sighs> Him dying there kind of just resets them a little bit, because this is going to give up Roshan, which is probably the biggest thing. This Roshan is going to allow Huskar to just go insane. And the thing about the first Roshan of the game, normally you can't really do too much with it. Like, you can't go high ground, but if it's on a Huskar, he can. And Tim's just trying to guess it, but... Too late. So Look at this. At what point are we going to see this Ember Spirit, you know, uh, step on the gas a bit? Because I feel like he's not having that much of a presence right now. I mean, what items does he go? How does he really fight in a game like this? He sort of just is in an awkward position where he can't really fight as They're gonna catch out 1437, he doesn't have any stolen spells, they're gonna go for the hook shot, but this is a one-on-four clockwork. Yeah, that clockwork tried to give his life for a support of Rubik. Oh, here's the two-man stun! Nice Burrow strike coming out there from the Sap King from Sims. Jumped up in the high ground, ooh, Miracle in deep, but he's fine. He has the Aegis as well, he goes for Raven. Raven takes a lot of damage, forced back to base, forced back to pop the Shrine. Burrow strike coming out, slowing down Miracle in the ring time. Lick was just taken down the tier 2 tower. Cuckoo died in that as well. It's only GH that died for 3 on the side of TNC. Yeah, and the Nature's Prophet is here now too. They're just gonna push this in. And like I said, first Aegis normally can't do too much with it. You get all the tier 2 towers. Huskar is the one hero that's sort of the exception to this rule where you can just immediately go for the high ground. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Take this tower and TNC. 
they need this. They need their tinker life oh, to be do. able to defend any of this, and that's a set of racks down at 23 minutes. That's a, that's a rough one to take. Sprout off on Raven. Use the use, pops it on the shrine. Nice burrow epi, epi from Tim's, trying to force them back out of his base. But Tulan pops a blade mill, gets caught as well. He's taking a lot of damage here, but he's okay for the moment. Raven coming in, taking the kill in the end. Still mind control, silencing up. Raven again. Raven, invisible for the moment, and a Glimmer Cave goes again for the Dangerous Prophet, Sprout up. Can a Mind Control stay alive through all of this? He's just attacking people. He might not be attacking people for long, though he does end up dropping Raven. He has got a use available, using up G8s, but he still drops to Kuroki. 3-4-3 three, three right now as Kuroki ends up dying to the Rockets of Cuckoo, who's still in the back lines, making sure... Oh, he's gonna get that, stunned up now. Oh, he's gonna get more than stunned up. He's gonna get obliterated. This was uh, of th this is going to be the finishing up later racks for that Stand King is the only one alive. Yeah, and because you took that early Aegis, you can just chill now, wait for the next Roshan to spawn, and just dare TNC to fight you outside their base. Yeah. This is uh, I mean that was that fight was horrendous for TNC. They it was really so losing. Much. It was losing the Tinker early on. If you lose yeah. a Tinker like that, then it's already hard defending against the Hoskar, and him going high ground. But when you lose the Tinker, you pretty much just lose all opportunity to do anything about it. Like, he just marches up there, Miracle doesn't care. This Ember, we talked about it, he just doesn't do enough damage right now. Yeah. I mean, is that something that they, they still have time to fix? Like, how are TNC looking in terms of fighting with a uh, gold up against two? Uh, like, I mean, this mid rex is okay. And with the Maelstrom also on, on the end, I'm sure they, they can actually do that. Yeah, it's the... Uh, I think if they lose the second side, that's when the game becomes pretty impossible. Because you're just getting less swarm overall. There's not a whole lot that you can do. Oh, mind control? Oh, uh, what you doing there, buddy? You can't get out. That was wild. Did he get the courier? No. I mean, I'm gonna assume he went there for the courier. Mind control's crazy. He Radiance has made some aggressive <laughs> to first this game. <laughs> hey, Space Graded, he learned a lot of people back to base. You know? Right? Yeah. Silver linings. Uh, we have all shrines taken down on the side of TNC. Uh, well, the shrines that are not in the base, obviously. And that means that there is less map control for TNC, and that, that makes Roshan all the more difficult when it's back up again. How important is that next Roshan? That's probably the second lane of Rex, which we talked about is probably the game ender. Alright. Well, that's not, uh, not a nice, uh, first sight for the TNT. Smoked up. They're gonna try to invade enemy territory. The Tuma Man. Yeah, that's a difficult one if they find him. He's gonna. Ah, they find GH first, actually, perhaps. They can take him out first, but he gets saved by Kuroki in the meantime. Over 3 7. He's already dead before the fight, fight even begins. Kuroki, he saves himself as well, and GH is still alive, nobody dead yet on the side of Liquid. Now, finally, Raven is able to finish off GH, but Raven, he knows that he has to flee. Tinker, realizing he shouldn't teleport back into this one, because that's not that's not where you want to be. No, not at all. Oi, oi, oi. Get out of there, friends. Yep, Sand King tries to uh, split push the wave a bit, or cut the wave, rather, in the mid lane. Again, Tinker does the same instantly. They make sure that they try to push the other lanes out because they just need to hold. They don't split push though. They don't have any physical damage or any tower hitters either. So it's they just wave clear. Yeah. So the only thing you can really do in this position is fight. You can try to hold your base by spending out all of these abilities, but the only hero that can really do it is Tinker. And to a lesser extent, Raven. But Raven wants to be doing something on the map. He doesn't want to be stuck inside base. Otherwise, you're just getting a uh, neutral amount of gold. Is my control going to TP in now? Do they need... Um, yeah. Oh, Cuckoo. you got to be careful here. Miracle in a bit of a pickle. But he's got the armor. He's got Kuroki to back him up as well. And that might actually be enough. He gets the heal. Cuckoo. Trying to teleport out. We'll be able to make it out. Oscar lives full HP. Easy. <laughs> you really doubt that? Oh, in the back line. I was on that for a little bit. Oh, they they went in deep here, but Tuma Man gets the scythe off, so that is Raven out of the picture. Mind control. 
holding uh, back Tim's in the Sprout. Sam Age on the retreat as well. Burrow Strike Sam Age is looking to be the sacrificial lab to try and save Sam Age, but it looks like both of them are ending up dead. Indeed, they do, and that means Cuckoo is the sole survivor for his team. This tier two tower, um, he's very optimistic in trying to defend that, but I guess he kind of has to try to hold the wave, make sure to delay this push because even without Aegis, they could just walk high ground and take a Rax, or at least a tower. I'm surprised that they committed to that. I know it looks like Miracle's about to die there, but it's Huskar plus Oracle. Yeah. And Oracle dropped everything. He earned him, he used like three different heals, Miracle had his own heal plus armor. Oh, strike! And Epicenter is enough oh, to Miracle take dies. down Batuma Man and indeed Miracle as well. That is a nice high ground defense from, uh, from these two right here. In the meantime, bottom lane, it was mind control. He's trying to teleport out, should be able to do that. He, I'm pretty certain he had his, uh, he had the armlet toggle available, but probably just didn't think that tower hit was going to kill him. They lose that tower up at top, but TNC, they hold. They hold. It's a rough one, but they hold. I, I, when does Husker fall off in this game, you think? Like, when, when do you feel like TNC is going to get their chance? Like, around... Is there any item they wait for, specifically? Uh... <laughs> I mean, it's, I, know, I know it's a tough one, right? I mean, they, 20, they're, they're 20 minutes, 20 minutes. If they can hold out for 20 minutes, I would feel comfortable in saying That's that... a very long time! It's not a short oh, period of time. Oh! Bye! GH might be paying for that one. The Fisher from Onker 37 coming through as well. And with Cuckoo there, he's silenced for the moment, but the right click still hurt and it takes the kill as well as Raven takes down mind control. Oh, actually, Cuckoo stole that kill right there, so he gets a double, but that was two quick kills of cores. Yeah, definitely not worth it. And the biggest thing is that it's gonna reset your push. Yeah. There's not a whole lot that you can do during this time. So for Liquid, they're gonna have to fan out, farm a little bit, push out the waves. Wait for this Roshan, that was the big thing that we talked about. They need to wait for this Roshan. Is Kroki gonna get chased down, although... Cuckoo doesn't have the best mana pool to work with right now. Yeah. Miracle, interestingly enough, has a BKB. Looks like he wants an Aghanim Scepter. Not an item I see super commonly. I guess there's some really cool synergy between Huskar Ags and the Necro Reaper Scythe. I guess so. Why? Think about it, Shearer. You you deal a bunch of damage and then Necro Reaper Scythe. But that's like any kind of burst damage. They already have the nice thing with Oracle yeah, but with the damage. You do that anyways. It's just and more. It's cool. <laughs> it's <laughs> It's like a. It's like a. I mean, are you promoting like, to buy a Dagon too? It's like three Dagons. You're triple Dagoning, and it's. It's such a short cooldown. <laughs> I don't know, dude. But you're still only gonna be able to do it in one Reaper Scythe. Reaper Scythe is if, long cooldown. If it were up to me, Shiver, this man would not have these items. But. You're trying to. You're, you're to trying me. to. Uh, I'm trying to see his his point of view. All right, fair enough. Walk a mile in miracle shoes. Oh. oh right, stop! Teleport out. He should be okay. Oh. Oh. No, he's not. No, he's not okay. G H. All the triads as well. Reaper side to finish him off. Love whom? Oh. Oh, but in comes Cuckoo. Cuckoo. He takes the kill on G H. Cuckoo's going off right now. I mean, he has to, right? We talked about this during the draft as well, that there was a lot of pressure on this Tinker to delay the game. He's doing he's it. Trying. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing it. 20 minutes. So when you said that, it was nine, 29 minutes when you said that. I will remember. 29 minutes. Oh, at bottom. Yeah, that's a dead sound thing. It was very deep, though. They're not delaying like that, Chief. No, but in the top lane, there's already, he's already pushing out top yeah. as well. So This is the best thing you can do. Just shove out the lanes. Do this as much as possible. There is a... Scythe of Ice now on Nature's Prophet, by the way, and Roshan is up. This is the second lane of Rax Rosh. Miracle, gonna pick it up for himself. There is a cheese on the floor, too, but it looks like he wants that. He takes it, too. That's greedy. Yep. Give it to Matama, man. There's a gem on the floor as well. There we go. This is a heart necro as well. What's the reasoning behind even the gem? Are you expecting mind control to take it? Uh, or is Desiree just not want to have it when the push is happening? I will say that 
my control doesn't take it, and it's just left on the ground, and everyone forgets about it. That's exactly what's happening, by the way. <laughs> I mean, oh, bottom, bottom. Yeah, that's Raven. He's in a in a lot of trouble there. He wants to go back to base. He needs to be back to this base. This is a three v five right now up at top. This is going to be TNC's best opportunity to go for a fight. That's why you see the lift yeah. here from fourteen thirty seven. But the Rax has already fallen. You've got to do something about this, though. I mean, he's just standing there. You can root him all you want, but he's just standing there attacking. He's got the Aegis. He's absolutely perfectly fine. Now they go in. So much on damage! On the back line, Miracle is still alive. And Tim's, he has to be Clockwork already down. That's going to be an Ember Spirit in a lot of trouble. He's going out of the base, maybe trying to do something to Kuroki, but Kuroki is holding oh, GH is there. No, and GH... Oh, he was already on the high ground waiting for that to happen. Gets a kill, no buyback on Raven. That's a second lane of Rax. And it looks like Miracle with his Aegis moving himself to the bottom lane. And uh, trying to, uh, well, actually succeeding in taking that bottom lane of Rax Look as well. at that damage. That was, that was Sam King that was standing there. And, uh, it's going to be Mega Creeps at 34. Yep. We will never make it to 49 minutes by the looks of things. Yeah, okay. That is you that. never know. Be optimistic. I think TNC wants to be up to this as well, but it's looking pretty grim for them. Oh, GH okay. is dead. Yeah, no, he's not. Kuroki saving lives, left, right, and center. Cuckoo, stuck. He's uh, under the glimmer cape at the moment. Might be okay. Maybe not okay. He's taking a lot of damage still. Dies. This this has, this has to be game. GG. There you go. What a wonky game at the start, but once uh, once the two men got that rampage that I think everybody on stream missed, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, that didn't tec happen. Technical issues here, but that that was the game changer. That basically. Shiver, we can write history however we want. Nothing happened. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> These guys don't have to know. We don't have to, but because this is the one thing that you can do against Huskar, right? You can aggro trial him. He can't really do too much. Uh, he doesn't really have a lot of defensive abilities, and can they're immediately going to go on him. And yeah. he's got nothing, sheeps. He's got nothing, that battery sold. Wow. Uh, this is how you do it, I guess. Yeah, shut him down early. So he never gets uh, his feet on the ground, really. Kuroki getting a burst truck as well. There is another lift available in a couple of seconds. And that should be a third kill on the side wow, of that TNC. Is fast. There you go, got him. It happens just like that. It happens just like that. In the meantime, Matumaman is har harassing Kuku quite a bit here on his Tinker. He had the advantage just because the Earthshaker showed up and fissured a few times yep. in the wave. But the one saving grace for Liquid right now is his bottom lane. Uh, we talked about how I'm pretty certain, as your expert analysis, that this main... I've never played this lane matchup, so... Right! Let's take a look at who's playing what. We got Matuma Man, he's playing as Necrophos. Just like the first game of the tournament he played, we got Miracle on the first... First Huskar of the tournament, three days in. So many heroes picked already. Kuroki's playing the Oracle, he's already in deep with the smoke to place that nice ward. Mind Control will play his Nature's Prophet. And GH, once again, on his Earth Shaker. Uh, no real surprise there. We got a five man smoke coming out from TNC. Smoke, go around, kill them all. And we're gonna walk up the high ground. Man is so. Oh, so hello. dead. Looking for that Burrow Shike. They're gonna go for this. Range, but he's, he's got fast. boots. Yep, we got it. They're back up. There's a lift to the golden lift, even. Matuma Man is trying to stay alive, but nah, there's no way. What do you possibly? <laughs> I mean, there's he's a... trying to stay alive. You, you, got, you know, you gotta give him the benefit of the doubt that he was trying to stay alive. No, no, no. It's more like I, I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at Kuroki, and he's thinking about something. He's like, do I? Because he hasn't skilled anything yet. So he's just like, what do I skill here to make this, make this somewhat okay? And there's absolutely nothing that you can oh. do about it. Oh. All right, so Tim's is on the Earth Shaker, and uh, we got our uh, Earth Spirit, Earth Sand King. Wow, also an Bitva uh, Earth Hero, whatever. One for three seven on his Earth Sand on his Clockwork. We got Cuckoo playing the Tinker, who's uh, being delayed on his venture to the mid lane after taking the rune, and then uh, on the bottom lane we got ourselves an Ember, played by Raven. And the runes, I think the runes are still evenly split. Yeah, yeah. they were. Mind Control got one, Matoma Man got one. This bottom lane though, I am imagining this is very Nature's Prophet favored. Because you can just right click with uh, with the trees and... Yeah. So as a result, they're going to go for an aggro tri-lane back. So yeah. Miracle's going to find a little bit more footing up at top. 
Because he can deal with just the solo clockwork. Yeah, because 1 for 3 7 also just rotated down. Also, no mana on that top lane for him at the moment. Uh, bottom lane. Regeneration. For the Rubik. The rough part though is that Miracle had to walk all the way there. He oh. didn't have a TP himself. Cuckoo gets blocked out. They're gonna try and kill him. Courier dies as well, but we're gonna follow Cuckoo's death here. I think his death is uh, quite certain, especially with Minecraft teleporting in. Uh, he does take a lot of beating from this tower, but he'll be okay. He sniped the courier as well. That's why he was behind him. Yeah. That makes sense. And he's gonna shove in the wave. If you're this necro, you wanna make sure that Tinker's get Tinker gets as little of this as possible. So you just shove in the wave. Gonna deal some damage to the tower because we talked about how important that mid uh, tower achiever. Yeah. And more importantly, like when you're a mid player, you wanna chip it down whenever you can. That's why you'll see like people just take hits on it, you know. This uh oh, I don't I don't run into a lot of nature's profits lately anyways. I mean it is a very uh Unregular matchup. Because normally you see it wait a Ember second. Wait a second. Huskar again. Miracle stuck oh, and boy. dead. Okay, so are we gonna see a lane swap? Because this is not good, or is this still good because of that bottom lane? Like, I think, I when think do it's you decide time to, to do I think it's time to swap lanes. But the problem is if you swap lanes, they'll just follow you back. Yeah, but at least you got the move. That's true. And man, this and the beginning like, of this is rough. Look at bottom two. Yeah, Raven is uh, is actually he might actually die. There is a burrow strike available from Tim's. Actually, there's not. He doesn't even ha he doesn't have the mana for that. But yeah. it does force mind control away, and that's enough for the moment. This is good though. Live. He forced he forced heroes around, which is really important because they couldn't deal with that three on two up at top. And Tim's coming down here without any mana. Think about it. He's gonna have to reheal. Both these guys have to heal, and he can't TP anymore. He has to run all the way back.